Good morning and happy Friday. It is about 4.30 a.m. and um, the puppies were born yesterday. We, um, it was such a big long day. Nietzsche was in labor for nine and a half hours and it was, you know, it was super exciting. And as soon as we got done with everything, I, you know, got Nietzsche outside. I cleaned this whole area wiped her down, fed her an amazing dinner because she was just famished and um, just kept everything in here nice and calm. Um, she she doesn't want to be away from her puppies. She just, she's very doting, but um, you know, we got some good sleep last night. I, um, the morning, this is where everything is gonna start for me. So I, the way I do my puppies, you know, I have these charts, and these are just the ones, you know, I, there's there's so many other charts that you can get out there. But these, so this is the chart that I have, um, the, the well-being details, and it just has the time, date, sex of the puppy, how much they weighed at birth, and, um, and if there's any distinctive markings. One of the puppies does have a tiny little bit of white on his chest, or her, I think, yeah, it's a female that has the white. So, so this is where I write everything from the day of their birth. This chart is for bottle and tube feeding. Since Nietzsche only has nine nipples, and now she has 11 puppies, I'm going to supplement a little bit with formula. This is the formula that we use. It's Espelac puppy formula. And um, these are the bottles that we use. They're just little baby bottles. For, for human babies, but they, they work perfect, and these are the kind that I've used for the last two letters. So I am going to, I'm, I try to stay very organized, and I just wanna make sure that every puppy is nursing from Nietzsche because it's so important for them to, to get mama's milk, especially right in the beginning because she has colostrum. You wanna make sure all the puppies are healthy. And then I, you know, I keep track of who I'm feeding. She's super sore. She's just very, um, you know, I literally have to bribe her with with Polish sausage to get her to even come out of this box. She does not want to leave her babies, but I have to bribe her to get out, her out of here. So I, I got her out to go potty this morning and I then kept her out in the front and I got all the puppies out. I wiped everything down again, put a new pad down, put the puppies back in. She was already just waiting at the door wanting to come in here. And now she is back in here with her babies. So I'm just going to take this time, especially this first day, to um, I'm just going to get each puppy and I'm going to give them a little bit from the bottle. You know, they're all, they all seem super fine. Like nobody's, you know, it was a really good night. I slept in here with her and I, you know, because we have the, the little guard going around now. So you know, she, she's having a hard time moving around the pet because there's so many of them. They're just everywhere. And so sometimes they get stuck behind her. And so throughout the night, I got up several times. She pretty much lets me know when she needs me. She she starts whining and, and I can hear puppies. There's a puppy that's stressed out or, you know, stuck somewhere and she can't get to it. And it's hard for her to move. She's just, for the next few days, she's going to be really sore and, you know, what her body just went through. So, um, so now I'm just gonna take time, I'm just gonna take each puppy and I'm just gonna give them a little bit of formula and I'm just gonna check them out and see, you know, just look them over and make sure everything's good. I already have our appointment set up for Monday for the puppies and Nietzsche to go into the vet to get looked over by the vet and we're gonna have their tails and dew claws in. Not everybody does the tails and dew claws, but we like to do the tails and do claws. We do. So we're gonna get that done on Monday. So, and every day I'm going to, you know, I'm gonna be bottle feeding them a little bit every day because she only has nine nipples and I just wanna make sure. And I'm going to, this is the, so this is my daily weigh-in chart. So you can do it every day and then you can do it weekly or bi-weekly. I will do it every single day until they're eight weeks old, pretty much. I do, I just, I've always done it with each of my litters, 
I just want to see how everyone's doing and if I see the one puppy maybe isn't gaining as much as the other ones, then I'm going to give them more because I just want them all to grow at the same rate and, you know, and if, you know, if one of them's not gaining weight, there could be something wrong. We've never had any issues, but, and it's really good for when I'm bottle feeding the puppies, I handle, you know, I'm handling them, I'm rubbing their feet, I'm rubbing my fingers to their toes. Um, you know, we do our little, a little baby yoga, I'm holding them upside down, I'm, you know, just, it's really important for them to be handled a lot and um, moved around and it just makes them very happy, relaxed dogs. So I am going to get started on this. So I'm going to get the first puppy, so I will get Red. Red was the first puppy born. But everyone's just doing so good. Oh my God, they're just the cutest little babies. I just love I just love your babies, Nature. I am so puppy heaven right now. So we'll see if he wants to, to get a little bit of. He was kind of sleeping, but I have an appointment this morning. So if you're feeling really beautiful I'm today, just gonna make this video see if he wants to have a little bit. I'm going to squeeze a little bit in his mouth so that he knows and that's it. that there is a meal here. Oh, there he goes. Mmm, boy. looking pretty perfect and he's latching on so good so I just got you know I had bottles that I got with the first litter and they made it through the second litter and these are new so they're kind of a little stiff but it doesn't take long for them to get worn in but he is a strong little boy Nietzsche just watches me <laughs> Nietzsche loves me how I take care of her puppies. She absolutely trusts me 100% and we just do this, we're a team. It's just so many babies, oh my gosh. So many babies for her. You want some more? You want some more? So I've got so many families. So, you know, we had two deposits already in before the puppies were born and I have so many people that have been calling me and I just kind of had to put everybody on hold yesterday because I just, we were exhausted, but you know, I just have a feeling that I'm going to have deposits for all these puppies by the end of the weekend. Very exciting. This is Nature's last litter. She will be spayed in April. I'm making her appointment on Monday. She's never having another puppy. Are you done? So, he's looking good. <laughs> His little umbilical cord is drying up super quickly. You know, but oh my gosh, he's just, he's got a little bit of a milk mustache. He's a good little boy. All right, Mama. He wants to check him out as soon as I bring him back. And Orange was the next one. He's another little... Oh, yep, this is Orange. This is another little boy. And so... His adult record is already falling off. He's looking good. Let's see if he wants to have some bottle. So, when we first had our first litter of puppies, I watched so many videos on YouTube. You can learn anything on YouTube. I watched so many videos on YouTube and I wanted to see how everybody did it. And you know, there's so many different ways that people raise their puppies and 
this is how this is how we do our puppies. There he goes. They're so smart. They're just the smartest, most amazing puppies. I'm making a video. So Ivan's in here. Maybe he'll say hi to the camera, but probably not. You know what? If you take the camera and you scan down on the puppies, it would be awesome because I'm pretty much done. So Ivan's going to grab the camera and he's going to take over being my video photographer. <laughs> Puppies are doing amazing. Nietzsche is amazing. See, the puppies are all finding their place to go. We're keeping it super warm in here, so Ivan hates being in here because he pretty much, it's almost like we're in Mexico. It's, you gotta keep it between 80 and 90 degrees in here. But I hope everybody has a great weekend and I will keep doing puppy updates. Happy Friday. Thanks, Ben.